This wouldn't have happened if Donald Trump was still president. And so I do think that Hamas in making the calculation to launch those rockets and to really escalate the violence even before the launching of the rockets, they are responsible for trying to capitalize on the crumbling of the Palestinian elections before they even happened uh, when they were cancelled. Uh, they have been whipping up uh, anger in, in among Palestinians in the West Bank to try and show themselves as the true protectors of, mm. of Islam in Jerusalem there and the holy sites. I think all of this is partly because they saw an opportunity there, not just, of course, from the US side, but also they saw an opportunity with a weak Fatah, so weak that it cancelled those elections, having thought that Mahmoud Abbas might be able to renew his term. He's about 15 years into a four-year term as well, president. The, the, I uh, think the economist put it, yeah, it's actually 17 years, but I mean, you know, it's, it's, number, it's almost material, isn't it? The fact is he was supposed to have one four-year term and stand for elections. That election never happened. Well, that's right. And I think that, you know, this gave Hamas perhaps the sense that now was the time to act. Uh, now was the time to use these rockets that they've been stockpiling. Remember, of course, they have weapons, uh, better weapons now, longer range weapons they had that came from Iran. Uh, Iran, of course, will have a hand in this as well. They will have had something to do with this, if not only the supply of those weapons and financing. Uh, all of this is really the perfect storm. And as you say, some of that is from the international uh, international scene, really that America was perhaps not seen as being terribly interested at this stage under Joe Biden. And that's uh, really one part of the jigsaw. Of course, the others are that Hamas wanted to uh, try and prove itself to the Palestinian people and take part in this internal debate and struggle uh, for representation of Palestinians. Uh, and I think that Israel is acting so firmly now in its reaction because it feels it has to show that that can't be allowed to happen. They keep saying that they're not going to accept a ceasefire at this stage because they haven't achieved their aims. So what are those aims, you might ask yourself? Well, those aims are to absolutely crush Hamas's capability because this last happened in 2014. They've had relative quiet since then. Of course, there have been rockets here and there, but it's been sporadic. You know, to have had 2,000 rockets, um, some of them actually not being caught by that Iron Dome defence system, only about 90% of them that can get caught by it. So there have been deaths. There's been a lot of uh, disruption, disruption, destruction in Israel as well. Uh, that's something that Israel doesn't want to see happening. Right. So Let me it wants to send a very clear message to Hamas.